Okay, now we're ready for that leaf row. Like I said, we're going to start in the middle of a row. Half double crochet above the spike stitch, single crochets, a corner, and then we go into a full side. I'm calling it a row, it's a side. Join in, however you like to join in, right above any one of the spike stitches. I'm going to join in here. Fasten your yarn on. That's you'll hear it called fasten on. All right, I'm going to chain two, and that's going to act as my first half double crochet right there above that spike stitch. All right, skip the next stitch. Single crochet into the next four. One two, three, four, chain one. Skip two stitches. You should now be at the top of your next spike stitch and we're going to make that leaf stitch. Just call it a little mini puff. Yarn over, go into that stitch, pull through, do it again, that's two, do it again, that's three. You have a whole bunch of loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. You're going to pull through all of those. And you're going to chain one to lock that in. Chain two is going to make your first corner. We're going to make another leaf stitch right here. Yarn over, go in, pull it through. That's one. That's two. That's three. Pull through all of those loops. Make sure you didn't make them too tight. Make it too hard to get through. Chain one, lock that leaf in. See, you made your first leaf. All right, we're gonna skip two, one, two. You only do that at the corners. And one, two, we're working single crochets, three, Four. This is going to be a whole side now. Skip one. We don't need to chain here. Just skip one. Make a half double crochet in the top of that spike stitch. That just allows you to get up a little higher there and start squaring it off. It's still going to be quite wavy and that's perfectly fine. All right, skip one stitch. Four single crochet. We're getting ready to go to our next corner. Three and four. Skip two. You should be at the top of your next spike stitch if all went well. Chain one and make your leaf stitch yarn over. Go into that stitch. Bring it through one, two, Come through all of those loops. Chain one to lock it in. Chain two for your corner. And make another leaf right there. Yarn over. One, two, three. Remember, you can always slow down or pause. You can always mute it if you don't want to hear me. That's perfectly fine. Okay, skip two. One, two. We're going back to a side now. Four single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip one. Half double crochet because we're in the middle of an edge. Skip one. Four more double or single crochet. One, two, three, four. It gets tricky.
that was a whole side. So now we're at a corner. Now you're going to chain one. Skip two. You should be at the top of a spike stitch. And we're going to make a leaf. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Just make sure I count a lot. Go through all those loops. Chain one to lock it in. Chain two for your corner. Make another leaf. One, two, and three. Come through all those loops. Chain one to lock it in. Now we're, let's see, we have three corners. So one more corner to go. We have a straight edge here. Right, skip two. Four single crochet. Skip one. That should put you at the top of your next spike stitch. Half double crochet. Skip the next one. Four single crochet. We're going to get into our last corner, chain one, skip two. I'm always so happy when I end up at the right place. We're going to make a leaf stitch right here, our last corner. Turn over. One, two, three. Pull through all of those loops. Chain one to lock it in. Chain two to make a corner. And another leaf stitch yarn over. One, two, three. Pull through all those loops. Chain one to lock it in. Skip two. Should be getting near the end of this round. One, two, three, four. Single crochet, skip one. Join into the top of that chain two that counted as your first half double crochet. We're going to fasten off here, weave in your ends, and we're going to go back to our original color. I'm doing the off white. The reason I like to do that is it's the same color as the shawl and when you go to sew it in to the shawl on the edges, the seams will all but disappear. All right, fasten off, weave in your ends and I'll meet you right back here. 